Now, live, this is the Ganley Auto Group Sports Report on 19 Action News. If you checked out Wikipedia at around 4 o'clock this afternoon, you would have seen that Bill Musgrave is the new coordinator of your Cleveland Browns. Except he isn't. Somebody jumped the gun because whatever the Vikings said to him when he got up there, and I'm sure it had something to do with calling the plays, obviously that changed his mind because tonight he's their offensive coordinator. As for the D coordinator, Dick Geron went back to Philly. Dave wants that, comes in tomorrow. Stay tuned. Things, as you can see, happening and changing quickly. Cavaliers, what more can you say? I mean, anything else that I say is like piling on. I mean, Byron Scott trying to bench him. If they don't start Ding up, then they go out and play like this. Goran Dragic, I mean, look at Byron's reaction. It says it all. They're down 16 at the half. Fourth quarter, they come alive. They hold the Suns to 16 points. Jamison had a big night, but they just did not have enough. 106, 98, 14th straight loss, 24th in the last 25 games. Buckeyes, on the other hand, are number one in the nation for a reason. Ask the Hawkeyes, who were destroyed tonight. Jared Sullinger spins his way to 13. David Lighty threw down a game high 18. Break out the abacus. Buckeyes by 22, 70 to 48. Watch this dunk. Kent State and Buffalo, and yikes. Mitchell Watt on the break. Now the bad news, he plays for the other guys. 79-54, flashes fall by 25. How about Venus Williams giving down under a whole new meaning at the Australian Open? Here, listen. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about, uh, the outfit. As for the pain, she said it was a groin injury. I sent her to the locker room and interrupted the match with Sandra Zalavova. That's <laughs> not easy for me to say. But Venus comes back out, screams through the final two sets, and wins, moving on to round three. And back here at home, you know, the hottest team in town is our Lake Erie Monsters. They have won four straight. In fact, they're so happy, they don't even have to do this. Drop the gloves. But whenever you can get the enforcer, Patrick Bordalo, in studio, as I did on Sports Extra, there's only one thing you can do. Here we go. I'm in blue. All right, let's go. You're too young to remember this game. Come on. Jenny, oh! oh! There you go. One punch. One punch? Yeah. The whole key right there was one punch. <laughs> and uh, as they say in Rock and Sock him, you knocked his block off. Yeah, it's Ben Holden, the voice of the monsters, and uh, Your yeah, teeth, okay? I'm, all, I'm all right. <laughs> okay, we'll be the right enforcer. back. Fake. <laughs> Is that really what it's come to in this world? A hot dog eating champion holding out for more money? Stop the world! I want to get off. <laughs> Lil Tan, you gotta help me. I, I don't have any faith, man. I mean, the, the rookie quarterback against the Steelers defense in Pittsburgh. Come on, Tony, don't be little Colt McCoy. He's gonna do just fine. Sports director Tony Zarella is live with more on the banged up Browns, Tony. Sharon, there is one thing the Browns did not want to do all season, and that is play Colt McCoy. Mike Holmgren said it time and time again. They've seen too many quarterbacks rushed into duty and never recover. And here in Cleveland, any Browns fan can tell you all about that. We've seen a succession. The turnstile just keeps turning. Coach, get in here. Sharon Reed is working the crowd. Come on in here. That, that's okay, talking, Coach. Talking to an agent over there. Um, listen. Well, you're not trading me, are you? No, no, you're in. Uh, somebody else might have to go. We begin our team coverage with sports director Tony Zarella. Denise, it took LeBron only five minutes to announce his decision tonight. It will take the Cavaliers and their fans years to recover. He is headed to South Beach, choosing Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, and the Miami Heat over his hometown Cavaliers, although LeBron tried to insist, hey, nothing personal. Diane McInerney with all the fireworks over the big decision. Such a big deal. Tony Zarella is the sports director for WOIO in Cleveland. This pretty much sums up Cleveland today. It's a downpour here, and that's how people feel. No question losing LeBron James is going to affect the city dramatically, economically, not just the franchise, which drops about $100 million in value, but people are going to lose jobs because of this. Well, the last time the Browns went into the Ravens' den, it was a year ago, week three, just like this season. They were 0-2, just like this season, and they were giving games away all together now, just like this season. All right, back here at Panini's in West Park with Professor Golick, and we can debate all day how the Dolphins possibly let Matt Roth go last year. But, Bob, he's a playmaker, and he had a nose for the ball last week and made two big plays. Yeah. Can I actually be Dr. Golick? You can be Dr. Golick. Yeah, like You've earned better. it. Only three players in the history of Kent State football have had their numbers retired. Jim Corrigal, Eric Wilkerson, and... And... Hold on a second. All right. Nice. Nice. Hey, I'm sorry to bother you. The three retired jerseys, Jim Corrigal, Eric Wilkerson. Jack Lambert. Jack Lambert. All right. Thanks, man. What do you mean it doesn't count? 
course it counts. All right, it doesn't count, but I think you get to this point in training camp about two weeks in, and you just want to beat up on somebody else, and come Saturday night, the Browns will get that shot uh, in Green Bay against the Packers, and as you said, even a 35-year-old quarterback who has been there and done it in the NFL is looking forward to that. To play in the NHL. Speaking of being in good shape, yeah, I didn't know what you did before you got here to coach the Monsters. We got a picture of you. I guess you had done some modeling for Men's Health Magazine, Cornelius. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how we dug this up with our, our, our crack staff researchers. You know, you know what's funny about this? Uh, you look so comfortable on this magazine. Apparently, it's not your first modeling yeah. job. I think well, if you go, practice you go back to the Staying. 70s, I don't know if you remember Quinny on the cover of this magazine, but I think all the girls had this one as well. So, so Coach... Uh, I knew this was going to happen. I want to come in. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, Quinny boy. and Donnie Glad Osmond, you you're, you're in Glad good you company. Thanks, guys. Thank you. <laughs> That's why I went to journalism school. <laughs> Those and what's uh, closer to the is paid off. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> now, live, this is the Ganley Auto Group Sports Report on 19 Action News. Thanks, his throws middle. What a shot by Lewis on Dustin Keller. Hey, come on, the guy's 35 years old. What's there to be afraid of? Clearly, he has lost a step. I'm not worried about Ray Lewis. He's not here, is he? <laughs> you don't need me to tell you how tough that Ravens defense is. The Browns, well, they absolutely positively don't need a refresher course. They played him twice last season, obviously, and they lost by a combined score of 50 to 3. What they do need is all hands on deck. So today, well, today was a tough day. Jerome Harrison out of practice, nursing a sore thigh. Brian Rubisky, he was knocked out of practice with a sore hammy. And Jake DeLome, out of practice with a bad ankle. You have to believe it's going to be Seneca again. That's a good thing. I mean, the more mobile, the better against that Ravens defense. I, of course, will keep you posted on any and all injury developments with my tweets, Tony Z 19 Now, here's your turn. Time for your takes. Wellington says, panic, panic, panic. Get real, people. We're two games in, and you think the season is over. Oh, look at the Cowboys, you know, that team that's supposed to win the Super Bowl this year. I totally agree with you. Wait until Sunday, and then panic. You heard his take, now I want yours. Log on to 19actionnews.com. Click on sports, then Tony's take, and fire away. Sunday, I turn it over to the experts. Golick, Langhorn, Jurevicius, Top Dog, Dixon on the Serpentini tailgate each and every Sunday at 11, live from Panini's in West Park. Mo Williams tells Yahoo Sports he was so depressed this summer after you know who bolted, he actually thought about doing the same, quitting. Mo says his love of the game took a major hit with all these changes, but come Monday, well, he better be back. Cavaliers open camp next week. Twins clinched last night, as you know, but unfortunately did not celebrate hard enough because today they completed the sweep. Jose Morales, his first game ever at first base. So you say, all right, beginner's luck, right? Nope. Next batter, Shinsu, same thing, 5-1. Twins beat us. We're back home against the Royals tomorrow. Back to football. Let's live free or die up in New Hampshire and try to do it looking good. Yeah, all right, now that's not great video, but I want to show you this again because this football program has only been around for two seasons. The parents actually started it, and they're the ones obviously videotaping it, and he caught it behind his back. They're the Granite State Panthers. That is our catch of the week, although it's only Wednesday. David, never take them for granted. Never. Say. Stole it right out of here. <laughs> I I'm think not it nervous comes yet out either. There. About no. the Wait till Sunday. <laughs> you heard the news. Be right back.